Hi, welcome to the Destin Business Forum brought to you by the Destin Area Chamber of Commerce. I'm your host, Amy Perry, and my guest today is Lynn Marie Dunn. You are the managing partner at Bonefish Grill in Destin. For maybe the four or five people who haven't been to Bonefish, tell us about it. Well, thank you for inviting me here today. Sure, thank you for coming. We are kind of the unchained chain. We are a chain restaurant, but we have so much flexibility in our building. We are a polished, casual dining establishment. Our servers wear the white pressed chef coats, and they're really, they're not just servers, they're tour guides. So if you're not familiar with fish, they're gonna take you through a fish experience, explain to you, you know, what is sea bass? What is this Corvina? And explain to you and, and talk you through all the toppings so you have a great experience. So it's, your staff is dressy, but I don't have to put on a dress no. if I don't want to, no. but I can. Yes, you can. We have. We even had a wedding party there last oh. week, and they came in, the bride was dressed and brought in the cake, but we also have people that come straight off the beach in shorts and t-shirts. We are as casual or as, as uncasual as you prefer. The unchained chain, yes. best of both worlds, I like that. Um, okay, so tell me a little bit about the dishes that you serve, and I know that you have flexibility. Yes. Um, there are some mainstays. I'm not saying, you know, I have any favorites like bang bang shrimp. But bang bang shrimp, of course. <laughs> Does everybody love yeah, that? Oh, yes. Especially Wednesdays when we have the bang bang shrimp night, and it's $6 all day from open to close. And that's yeah. just one of our great nights to come and sit at the big community tables and hang out with your friends and have a great time. I would be willing to bet that the only people that don't like bang bang shrimp are those people that are allergic to, to shrimp. shrimp. Yes, but we can make bang bang chicken. Oh wow. We yeah. have the ability to use the same sauce and with the chicken, but you were talking about the flexibility yes. and we are, we have what's called a neighborhood catch and the managing partners in each location have the ability to bring in whatever species of fish they want and pair it with whatever flavorful topping they have. Uh, some of my favorites, we've had golden corvina, which I had never had right. before. It's a mild white fish, somewhat sweet, and we paired it with a goat cheese, uh, sun-dried tomatoes, a little bit of lemon butter, and, and wilted spinach. It was so good. It sold. You, you forgot to bring that today. I brought <laughs> drinks. You did. Yes. You did. We're going to get to that in just a second. Um, yes. So you, so you can change up the menu somewhat, like like your specials, I guess. Yeah, so if you come to me and say, oh my gosh, Lynn, next time halibut is fresh and in season, can you bring that in? Because I just really love when you do that crab-crusted halibut. Yeah, and mm -hmm. you say, okay, yeah, sure, I can do Absolutely. that. Absolutely. And then do you change your special, I'm calling them specials, your, your neighborhood catch selections, do you change that up every month, every week? Kind of on a whim. We get our fish fresh locally and we look at what the flavors are. And I also have a great group of regulars that I kind of pick their brains a little bit going, what do you want to see on the menu? I mean, you want me to keep the mahi? Yes. They're like, I want it fresh. So that kind of influences. Exactly, oh, exactly. Like Okay, um, family at home, don't expect me to do that, <laughs> but I like that the restaurant does it. Okay, so you have brought some um, yes. some makings for a drink. What will we be making? Well, today? two of our most popular cocktails. In the summer, we have the watermelon martini, mm -hmm. but in the winter when it's cold and you want something kind of chilly and yummy, we've got the winter white cosmopolitan. Ooh, sounds good. And I'm going to so, teach you how to make it. Oh, I'm going to make it. Okay, yes. okay. Yes. Because so, I can drink it. I'm really good at Absolutely, absolutely. I mean, you said you got the straw right there on yeah, top. Yeah, this is, um, I like that. It's, it's eco-friendly <laughs> straw. So we have Reka, which is an Icelandic vodka. We have Cointreau, which is an orange liqueur. And we have Saint Germain, which is an elderberry French liqueur. And then I also have white cranberry juice. Not the red, so it gives it that white. And then I've got lime simple syrup, which we make simply by squeezing fresh limes, adding a little bit of sugar to it. But you can make that at home just by squeezing your, your yeah, I lime, do. absolutely. <laughs> so now we also test our mixologists every day with pour testing. So you don't even have to have measures. I'm gonna teach you how, you ever heard of the count system? 
No, I have okay. not. Because it's easier to remember numbers than actually remember one and a half ounces, point ounce, whatever. So you're going to do a count of a pour. So you're going to go one, two, three, four, and that's going to be your measurements. Okay. okay. And I've got it lined got up that. really easy. So you've got four, two, one, four, uh, two, one. Four, two, one, two, one. Yes. Got it. And I've got you a pint glass packed with ice. And you are going to go ahead and begin to pour. In so here? We can, in yes. Here? You're going to okay. pour right in there, and then we're going to shake it up after. Okay, so for a count of four. Yes. So one, one two, two, three, four. four. Good. And then two, two on the Cointreau. Okay. One, one two. two. Good. And Ooh. then on the St. Germain, you're going to do like a one or like a one and. It's a quarter and. One and. Perfect. Ooh. And then your white cranberry juice, we're going to do a full three count there. Three? Gonna, yes. Okay. We said two, One, but we're going to make two, sure it's full. Three. Yes. Okay. And then top it off with your quarter ounce of your lime okay. simple syrup, and that's just going to be a little one and count. One and. One and. Perfect. Now the key Ooh. for all of our mixologists is shaking it 20 times with a smile. So, tap and shake. Shake. With a smile. You won't, you won't hurt it. Because that's how you're going to get the nice crystals. Ah, got it, got it, got it, got it. I think that's over 20. Perfect. And then, and then take, take the top one. one off. Perfect. There's your strainer. And then this goes and you're here. Straining and you just it. pour through here. Absolutely. You're going to go home and make martinis all night. I got and you this. did a perfect four too. And then three frozen cranberries on top. Give it a little bit of that just with holiday or warm yeah. winter. Yes. Look at that. Oh, that's so pretty. Taste it. I get to taste it? Yes, absolutely. Okay. Oh, that's good. You did good. That's really good. <laughs> yes. Cheers in yes. January. Yes, cheers. Cheers to January. I love this, and I can get this at Bonefish. Absolutely. I look forward Along to you coming in. Yummy and fish. You can even hop behind the bar with me, and we'll make some cocktails together. I'm going to hold you to that. That is so yummy. All right, come back. Yes. We'll do more drinks. Awesome. We'll cook. Yes. Maybe bang, bang shrimp next there time. There we go. Yes. All right. Perfect. Thank you for joining us. I really appreciate it, and we'll see you next time. Thank you, Amy. We'll see you next time.